नाइन्थ क्लास बायोलॉजी इंग्लिश बुक चैप्टर थ्री बायोडाइवर्सिटी कंप्लीट एक्सरसाइज नोट्स इंक्लूडिंग एम सी क्यूज शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन एंड ऑल इम्पॉर्टेंट डेफिनेशन लेट एस स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग एक्सरसाइज चैप्टर थ्री बायोडाइवर्सिटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सॉल्व एम सी क्यूज नंबर वन classification means the grouping of organisms on the basis of option number a how they feed b the features they have in common c how they respire d how they can survive correct option is b the features they have in common number 2 the kingdom protista includes option a unicellular and multicellular organisms with prominent nucleus b true multicellular organisms with no prominent nucleus c true multicellular organisms with prominent nucleus d unicellular organisms with no prominent nucleus the correct option is a unicellular and multicellular organisms with prominent nucleus number 3 viruses are not classified in any kingdom because a they are too poorly understood b they are too small c their genetics cannot be determined d they are not considered as organisms the correct option is d they are not considered as organisms number 4 viruses are assigned to the kingdom a monera b protista c fungi d none of the above correct option is d none of the above number 5 a related group of genera comprises a an order b a family c a class d a phylum correct option is b a family number 6 in which kingdom would you classify unicellular eukaryotes a fungi and plantae b fungi and monera c only protists d only fungi The correct option is B fungi and monera. Number 7 In binomial nomenclature the first letter of the dash name is capitalized A family B class C species D genus The correct option is D genus. Number 8 Which one of the following sequences shows the correct hierarchy of classification going from the smaller to the bigger one A kingdom phylum order class family genus species B kingdom phylum class order family genus species C genus species kingdom phylum order class family D species genus family order class phylum kingdom the correct option is D species genus family order class phylum kingdom number 9 which one of the following may be correct way of writing the scientific name of an organism option number A canis lupus in italic writing b sacrum c grants gazelle d coli the correct option is a canis lupus in italic writing number 10 a certain organism is multicellular adapted for photosynthesis and has multicellular sex organs to which kingdom does it belong a animalia b fungi c plantae d protista the correct option is c 
plante number 11 species that are in the same dash are more closely related than a phylum to class b family to order c class to order d family to genus the correct option is b family to order number 12 When the last member of a particular species dies the species is said to be a established b extinct c threatened d endangered the correct option is b extinct number 13 in which season how bara bustard migrates to pakistan and settles here a summer b spring c autumn d winter the correct option is d winter let's start answering short questions question number 1 what is the difference between the modes of nutrition of fungi and animals answer kingdom fungi it includes eukaryotic multicellular heterotrophs which are absorptive in their nutritional mode for example mushroom kingdom animalia it includes eukaryotic multicellular consumers the mode of nutrition is ingestive heterotroph question number 2 it is difficult to use the criterion of interbreeding to define species of unicellular organisms why answer the criteria of interbreeding cannot be used for species recognition in organisms who reproduce asexually and do not interbreed with one another for example many unicellular organisms question number 3 how are taxonomy and systematics related answer the branch of biology which deals with classification is called taxonomy and the branch which deals with classification and also traces the evolutionary history of organisms is known as systematics the main aims of both these branches are number 1 to determine similarities and differences among organisms so that they can be studied easily number 2 to find the evolutionary relationships among organisms question number 3 differentiate between the terms extinct and endangered answer difference number 1 extinct species are those that are no longer alive endangered species are those which are in danger of becoming extinct number 2 the last individual of that species has died in that ecosystem whereas endangered species has finite number of alive individuals number 3 we cannot do anything to save extinct species as they are dead we can make strategies to save endangered species number 4 examples of extinct species in pakistan are asiatic cheetah swamp deer indian wild ass black buck etc examples of endangered animals in pakistan are indus dolphin marco polo sheep how bara bustard etc question number 5 what are the contributions of it taker margulis and shorts in taxonomy answer contribution of robert whitaker In 1967 Robert Whitaker introduced the five kingdom classification system. This system is based on number 1 the levels of cellular organization that is prokaryotic, unicellular eukaryotic and multicellular eukaryotic. Number 2 the principal modes of nutrition that is photosynthesis, absorption and ingestion. On this basis organisms are classified into five kingdoms monera protista fungi plantae and animalia contribution of margulis and shorts 
In 1988, Margulis and Schwartz modified the Five Kingdom classification of Whittaker. They considered genetics along with cellular organization and mode of nutrition and classification. They classified the organisms into the same five kingdoms as proposed by Whittaker. Let's start understanding the concepts. Question number one. Relate the importance of biodiversity with natural ecosystem through examples. Answer. Importance of biodiversity in natural ecosystems. Biodiversity is responsible for ensuring the balance of ecosystems around the world and the human species depend on it to survive. Biodiversity is everywhere, both on land and in water. It includes all organisms, from microscopic bacteria to the most complex plants and animals. Biodiversity plays an important role in the functioning of ecosystems and in the many services they provide. Ecosystem services are the benefits that people derive from ecosystems. Examples Biodiversity is important in many ways. In a biodiversity, all species are interconnected and they depend on one another. For example, plants help humans by giving off oxygen. They also provide food, shade, construction material, medicines, and fiber for clothing and paper. Insects carry pollen from one plant to another, which enables the plants to reproduce. Fungi help decompose organisms to fertilize the soil. So biodiversity forms the backbone of ecosystems. If there is any loss or deterioration in the condition of biodiversity, can comprise and affect human well-being. Question number two. Explain the aims and principles of classification, keeping in view its historical background. Answer. There is a large collection of very dissimilar forms of organisms found on Earth. To study such a large collection, Biologists classify the organisms into groups and subgroups and for this task they require some system. Biological classification is a method by which biologists divide organisms into groups and subgroups. Aims of classification The branch of biology which deals with classification is called taxonomy and the branch which deals with classification and also traces the evolutionary history of organisms is known as systematics. The main aim of both these branches are to determine similarities and differences among organisms so that they can be studied easily and to find the evolutionary relationships among organisms. History of classification systems the Greek philosopher Aristotle classified all living organisms known at that time as either in the group Plantae or in Animalia. In 700s, Abu Usman Umar al-Jahiz described the characteristics of 350 species of animals in his book. In 1172, Ibn Rushd translated Aristotle's book The Anima in Arabic. Andreas Isilpino divided plants into 15 groups and called them genera. John Ray published important works on plants classification. Augustus Rivinus introduced the taxon of order. Tonford in introduced the taxa of class and species. Carolus Linnaeus grouped species according to similar physical characteristics. Question number three. Explain the base for establishing five kingdoms of living organisms. Answer. Basis of classification. Classification is based on relationship amongst organisms and such relationship is got through similarities in characteristics. These similarities suggest that all organisms are related to one another at some point in their evolutionary histories. However, some organisms are more closely related than others. For example, sparrows are more closely related to pigeons than to insects. It means that the former two have common evolutionary histories. When biologists classify organisms into groups and subgroups, the similarities are seen in external and internal structures and stages of development. Modern genetics provides another type of information to taxonomists. 
The similarities and differences in the DNA of two studied organisms can be used for getting idea about similarities and differences in their structures and functions. Taxonomic Hierarchy The groups into which organisms are classified are known as taxonomic categories or taxa. The taxa from a ladder called taxonomic hierarchy all organisms are divided into five kingdoms. So kingdom is the largest taxon. On the basis of similarities, each kingdom is further divided into smaller taxa in the following way. Phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. Question number four. Justify why virus are excluded from the five kingdom classification system. Answer. Viruses are at the borderline of living and non-living. Due to their crystalline nature, they are considered as non-living. They are acellular, that is, they do not have cellular organization, yet show some characters of living organisms. For example, they possess DNA. Viruses contain either RNA or DNA, normally encased in protein coat. They reproduce only in living cells where they cause a number of diseases. They are not considered as organisms and thus are not included in the five kingdom classification system. Question number five. Describe the aims and principles of binomial nomenclature. Answer. Binomial nomenclature is the method of giving scientific names to living organisms. As the word binomial suggests, the specific name of a species consists of two names. The first is genus name and the second one is the name of species. Aims and principles of binomial nomenclature Some of the rules which are universally adopted while suggesting and documenting scientific names are Scientific names are usually printed in italics such as homo sapiens, while handwritten they are underlined. The first term generic name always begins with capital letter, while species name is never capitalized. The scientific name is generally written in full when it is first used, but when several species from the same genus are being listed, it may then be abbreviated by just using an initial for genus. For example, Ashrikya coli becomes E. coli. Question number 6. Explain the impact of human beings on biodiversity. Answer. Impact of human beings on biodiversity. By 10,000 years ago, there were about 5 million people on earth. With the advancement in agriculture and industry, human population began to grow rapidly. Today, around 600 million people live on Earth. To improve the living conditions of 600 million humans, we are imposing serious threats to the survival of biodiversity. Habitat loss, deforestation, overhunting, introduction or removal of species, pollution and climate change are the major causes of species extinction. Question number 7. Identify causes of deforestation and its effects on biodiversity. Answer. Deforestation. Deforestation means cutting down of trees for the conversion of a forest to non-forest land. The destruction of significant areas of forest has resulted in a degraded environment with reduced biodiversity. Causes of deforestation Sometimes there is low forest degradation and sometimes sudden and catastrophic clear cutting for urban development. Deforestation can be the result of deliberate removal of forests of wood, agriculture or urban development. Effects of deforestation Deforestation affects the amount of water in soil and causes soil erosion. Heavy rainfall washes soil into rivers, thus essential nutrients are washed out of soil. Rivers become choked up 
with mud and silt which can cause floods the silted water gets stored in dams and it reduces their water storage capacity deforestation also decreases transpiration which lessens cloud formation this ultimately reduces the sources of rains forests are also valued for their aesthetic beauty and tourist attraction these important aspects of forests are also harmed due to deforestation question number 8 describe some of the programs running in pakistan for the conservation of biodiversity answer following are a few examples of environmental work that has been carried out in pakistan in order to conserve species and associated habitats number 1 national conservation strategy in 1980s iucn and the government of pakistan formulated the national conservation strategy for pakistan for the conservation of pakistan's biodiversity number 2 UN Convention on Combating Desertification this is an international treaty against damage and poverty in dry lands Pakistan signed this in 1997 number 3 Himalayan Jungle Project it started in 1991 in the Palas Valley in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa it aimed at protecting one of the richest areas of biodiversity in Pakistan Next conservation of biodiversity of the Suleiman Range Balochistan Suleiman Range Chilghoza forest is the largest chilghoza forest in the world In 1992 the WWF project started its conservation program Northern Areas Conservation Project These areas are habitat for wildlife species the NACP is implementing a ban on their hunting Conservation of migratory birds in Chitral KP. Chitral lies on the migratory route of several important bird species. These birds face enormous hunting pressure. WWF Pakistan initiated efforts to reduce the hunting pressure in 1992. Conservation of Chiltan Marhor. Hazar Ganj National Park is located close to Quetta and is the only remaining habitat of Chiltan Marhor in the country. WWF Pakistan developed the management plan of the park. Ban on games. Foreigners visit the northern areas and play many games in which bears are used. WWF Pakistan has been successful in imposing a ban on this illegal practice. Here are some important terms to know. 